We do research uh, at the North Carolina Research Campus in the Appalachian State University Human Performance Lab. And our main focus here is really looking at the benefits of exercise on human health and performance, both of those things. So we work with members from the community as well as individuals that participate in a range of sports, uh, swimmers, uh, on all the way down here locally. We've actually been working with uh, pit crew from various NASCAR teams here on this campus. And what we strive to do is couple the benefits of exercise with good nutrition. One of the clearest benefits that we know about exercise is it can actually improve your immune system. And our laboratory director, Dr. David Neiman, has demonstrated numerous times over the last couple decades that even just increasing your activity level from being the most complete sedentary couch potato slug and just walking briskly for 20 to 30 minutes a day can improve your immune function. And the way that we can demonstrate that is people are less likely to get a cold or a flu. Conversely, if somebody were to exercise and run a marathon without any um, carbohydrate ingestion during that exercise bout, they're more likely to get sick afterwards. And Dr. Neiman's actually demonstrated that by ingesting a simple sports drink can reduce the likelihood of getting a colder flu after a marathon. So those two ranges of just taking somebody who's very sedentary, you can do a little bit and improve their, their immune function. If you do too much, it can actually decrease your, your immune uh, tolerance. With, if we consider the, the NASCAR athletes as our, you know, one of the classes of world-class athletes that we're working with, what we're trying to do with them is to provide them or establish what, norm, what, what norms are there. Mm -hmm. So how much power do these people, does, does each position in the pit crew need to produce to be an optimal athlete for that sport? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a really exciting new addition to NASCAR is to be able to add that and say, okay, so, you know, somebody with, you know, for example, the Jackman needs to be able to ride our cyclergometer and be able to put out so much power over a 30 second period. No one knows that right now. And so over the next few years, we're going to work with these teams to develop these norms and say, okay, this is what a person in this position needs to do. You know, the front, uh, the front wheel changer needs to be able to do this, running on a treadmill or being able to generate so much power on the cycle ergometer or exert so much force on our force ergometer. So we were fortunate to have the opportunity to join the North Carolina Research Campus because it, being here enables us to answer just almost any question imaginable. So we are able to work with researchers from other UNC institutions that we wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to work with and with the facilities that are available to us in the David H. Murdoch Core Lab provide us with the tools to answer all of these questions. I mean, we have literally every omics imaginable from proteomics, metabolomics, genomics, and we have all of these resources at our disposal. One of the other important things that we um, were really on the verge of instituting, we were working closely with our institution, is to allow or to provide a service to the public that they can come in to the lab and undergo the same testing regime as our athletes do, uh, doing a max VO2 test on the treadmill or on the cyclergometer, doing strength tests doing uh, body composition with the bod pod. We're going to uh, offer those same tests to the general public in order for them to get a under, better understanding of where they are at, what their health state is today, and how to improve their health later and what that change would look like through these tests.